So we're going to start talking about HTML, CSS, and structuring documents. And so a little bit of an overview. Uh, document structure, like this is where I talk about the importance of like building things well and the precision of engineering. And if you're like BMW, you have a bolt and it has a certain strength and you use it in this situation. And you're precise about what you put where. And so when you write software, it's software engineering. That's what it's often called. Computer science is another, another name. But you got to be precise. It's engineering. And, uh, and there's also, you know, the creative side to it. But So we have to understand, you can't just put divs everywhere. It's better to be precise and know what we're putting where. So that's what we're going to look at here, how to structure our documents using good elements. And this is going to help make your, your code more maintainable, more readable more accessible, and do better with search engine rank, right, when you do all of that. And so just a little terminology, semantic HTML is HTML that has tag elements that have meaning. Like div is just a divider. That's pretty generic. Hey, here's another section. Here's another divider, another divider, another divider. But we have something that's like header. We have something that's footer. We have an element that, when I say something, I'm meaning element. We have an element header, we have an element footer, we have an element main, we have an article, an element article, we have an element section. And so let's use those when we can. And that's going to help make things more precise. And so uh, there's structure versus layout. Structuring your document is putting in the elements using the right elements. That's structuring your document, structuring the content. And layout is laying it out on a display device. Right, so laying it out, and we'll we'll often refer to that display device as a viewport. So, just some terminology: that's semantic HTML, that's structure versus layout, and now we're going to talk about the document object model. So, we've already talked about the DOM a little bit in here, but when people talk about the DOM, all it is is read it backwards: a model of the objects on a document, and so you know objects, elements. There's the document, then there's the root element, which is HTML. And then inside HTML, there's the head element and the body element. Like, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, let's look at a basic page. Sometimes I wonder what I'm going to bring up when I launch my editor. Was I working on that top secret confidential hacking code? <laughs> Just kidding. So HTML's, oh, not that one. Click the wrong thing. Hey, come back. Not that one. That one. Going a little bit fast. While tired. Leads to crashes in the car. Or your web browser. So uh, let's just look at a basic document, right? So here we have the root element, HTML. And inside that HTML element is the head element and the body element. Okay? So that's what we see right here. We have the root, HTML, and then inside HTML is head and body, and then inside head might be title. And inside title, also seen as an object, is text. It's a, the text is an object, right? And so that would be like right here, title. Inside head, we also have meta and link, right? So we have those in there too. All right, then terminology, document flow. Document flow, what's document flow? So document flow is, uh, I don't know, we'll look at that in a second. I'm just going to guess here and then we'll revisit it down further in my notes, make sure I got it right. Is um, how, how, how does, yeah, this is it. How does the browser put stuff on the page? And we've got block level elements and inline level elements. And it comes across elements in our document. It's reading them sequentially from top to bottom. And then it just starts stacking them down the page. If they're block level, they take up a whole line. If they're in line, they just start lining up in line next to each other. And, uh, and that's document flow. You could take things out of the document flow. There's a way that we could do uh, position fixed. Right? We could use position for layout. Not structure, layout. And we could do position fixed. And now things are removed from the document flow. We could just say stick this in the top left corner. Don't let it move. Have you seen that yet? No. So uh, just an illustration of document flow to illustrate that concept. Do you like it when I talk with fierce passion as if this is like 
meaningful? <laughs> it is meaningful. I don't know why that came out sounding a little bit uh, cynical. I guess in some ways, the grand scheme of things, it's not. Because death comes for us all. <laughs> and then really, what is meaning, right? Like, these castles of sand get washed away. My empire of dirt. As John and Cash put it. All right, so div first, div second, and then uh, image. No, I don't have an image. Uh, anchor and HTTP, uh, uh, HTTPS colon whack whack www.google, google, greater commons.com, GC baby. And, uh, and then uh, maybe we'll do, I, I want an image. And I do have one here. There we go. And now we'll go back with another anchor. And this one will be HBS on whack whack www.google.com. G O O G L. And then we'll do uh, another div. And we'll call it third. Oh, not that third. Third. And then we'll make our image width 500 pixels, wider 500 pixels width, and uh, we'll make that 200, just keep it small. Cool. Now uh, that was still a straight document flow, so here it is, and things stack up, first, second, GC, image, Google, all in line, third, block level elements take up a whole line, right, but document flow, and if we put some borders around stuff, Okay, boom, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Document flow. It's reading the code top to bottom and just putting stuff out. We have document structure, we have document layout, we have document flow. You understand the difference between those three? What's document structure? Somebody tell me structure. <clears throat> The structures are um, the structures are all CSS, CSS. things. Yeah. HTML. It's just putting elements on the page. Mm -hmm. uh, structuring the page. Structuring the content on the page. HTML is for the structure of a page. What's layout? The CSS. Huh. How we lay things out on a viewport. Laying things out. Mm -hmm. So we have structure. We have layout. What's flow? What's document flow? Huh? Page elements. What? You arrange the page elements. How the browser reads stuff and like, you know, normal things in normal document flow, block level elements, inline elements, right? Just kind of that's the flow of the document. I am now going to take something out of the document flow. And uh, that will be out of flow. And uh, we'll give it uh, ID of OOF. Oops. I don't know what that was all about. And uh, position fixed. And when you do position fixed, you got to do like a top and uh, top zero and right zero. And we'll do top, and we'll leave it at that. And uh, width, well, I don't, I don't think we need a width. Yeah, might as well. Width, 100 pixel, height, 100 pixel, background, color, uh, I don't know, red, no, blue, and color, yellow. And uh, mm, text. Align center. I just stuck that over there and it's sitting on top of everything. It's no longer in flow. <laughs> Out of flow. All right? 
and I can move that. Like, what would I have? What would it be if I did right 400? Where does it go? Whoa, over to that side. What about right negative 400? Pix oh, I need right 400 pixels. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure if I do negative or positive. Oh, there we go. From the right, come over 400 pixels. From the top, come down 500 pixels. It's kind of cool. And interestingly, right, that's just right there. It doesn't matter where that is. UL, LI, dollar, 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 times 100, 200, using 300, using Emmet. That just is right in the center of the page. It never changes. It's fixed. Position is fixed. Right? Everything else is scrolling. Are those LIs block level? Document flow. All right, so what's the structure? Yeah, the elements on the page, structuring the content on the page. Okay, putting text into content. What's uh, layout? Yeah, laying stuff out on the page. Here I've laid stuff out on the page. And to do that, I use document flow, which is how things just clink, clink, clink. Block level, block level, block level, ching, 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 in line, <coughs> block level, right? It's just like that's the flow. It's just how things flow into the browser and the viewport window. And then I also use position fixed. Stick that over there. And that's layout. So we have structure, layout, and document flow. I think that's a good stopper for this video.